Hi, and welcome again to Amraco Tutorials. Today we are going to do together part 24. In this video, we are going to implement uh, multi-factor authentication uh, for Amraco Bank Office users. So normally, just we add your email, password, tick, you are in the uh, bank office. So here we'll add one more layer of, or security layer to ask you about the uh, multi-factor authentication. It's not a uh, built-in in Ambraco. I don't know why it's now why we don't have it. But they have uh, Ambraco documentation. They add something nice and easy. I think uh, we can implement that one together step by step and we'll see uh, what we can uh, do. So, uh, as I said, uh, there is documentation for that. We can follow it together. Uh, I will add that uh, link in the description too you can use it so the main things is here what they are saying uh, you can enable the multi-factor authentication for members or for users so but in this video we'll follow the example how we can uh, do it for the users so i mean with users uh, when you try to look the, to the back office so this uh, code or this feature we are adding it will be same as you are doing uh, or implementing package uh, i don't know why i'm they didn't do it so i think everything is exists here i don't know why they not added it to be honest with you so we'll try to do it step by step but first thing we have to install this package uh, they said we have to install it so we have to install it so let's uh, go to our code here and let's go to the nugget manager and we can say please give me this one so i'm not saying it's this google uh, google one so you have to install the the that google authenticator on your mobile no you can use any uh, uh, authenticator uh, with this one i don't know why i'm gonna getting that one it's too yeah i think this one let's install it and what we can say apply here uh, close it so the second things here we need we uh, need to create a new folder in the in the uh, app, app plugins till that's finished so we can say give me a new folder here and inside that folder I'm going to add three files I have them already so that files they are they explain them here or they said what you need to do so we don't need to uh, bother ourselves and understand what happening in uh, which one in the manifest on this in this one which is the HTML code and in the manifest here I just make sure you are in the right uh, path and with the JavaScript here so you have to create uh, uh, angular JS file you would just code inside it and the manifest here pointing to the JS and here we have the HTML and we'll see how we can where where are pointing for that HTML too so that the first two things uh, let's close this one so we installed the package and uh, we add the plugin uh, files so after that we need to go to uh, the services so I'm adding this one as as a external service to be honest with you uh, yeah I, I think that that could could work here uh, no it's internal service but let's add it here for now so uh, in this one we need to add a class we let's call it uh, Ambraco user app authenticator and this one straight away will take it from something called uh, i2 factor uh, provider so you have to make sure you are choosing the uh, CMS core security Some, you have to install it if it does not exist but they will come automatically so on this one you can straight away uh, just implement the interface so here there is too many things uh, the important things they are explaining there in the, in the documentation is you have to make sure you are calling the right service so what I mean with the right service so if you see in this one here, 
they are calling i member service but i don't need the i member service uh, i need the something we call it uh, user services so let's close this one here i have already my piece of code so straight away i can add them so let's call this one here and i need the where is why to have a constructor here so let's call the constructor to ctr and we inject the service here too oh my god and let's say this my service now i'm making mess here and let's remove this one let's say I use I use user service here, and also what we have here. So the provider, uh, this name just for the database, you can declare it somewhere here, and just straight away said that name this one, make one name. Oh, sorry, uh, my stuff. Bug. Yeah, that's uh, what we need here. So that for the members. For sorry, for the to get the database async and the validate uh, the validation one here, the validator should straight away call uh, the bean one, which is a validate bean, and pass the uh, secret, also the token, and the closest one. And here, what we can, what they need to call. So uh, this one, exactly what what they have uh, in the in the in the documentation. You don't need to add anything to the new. Oh, I don't care. Let's look to factor fun. Yeah, the authenticator. That's another from here. I'm not getting anything. And this one here in the get setup data. So the only things, if you see here, uh, the user services, that's underscore. And this class, we need it same. So what, let's do the option first. So what is the options here? So we just need to add the classes here. So the option here, the issuer. So uh, you know, if you wanna uh, install the the site and then in QA or in, in production, so you have to give it name in the in the application when you scan. So you have to just add differentiation way between them. So we'll add something here in the in the JSON development here. I just need to add something, you know, just to differentiate between between the the, the environment. So we can add easily, easy way. We can add key. So that key can be uh, changed during the, the release to say this my blog uh, this in local uh, local uh, local or it's in QA or it's somewhere. So but still I need to add the the option to trigger it in this one too, or just register it. So I need to call I options and this for the service here. So just to get the data from uh, from the app setting for, uh, file. So same, let's, I don't know which approach we'll go with. Let's go with this one. And also I need the I option, same this one here. I need to add to the constructor. We'll add together the cl that class too. Let's say I option, equal option. So that's done here and just the issuer. And we need to add this class where we can add this class. Let's say we can add it in the uh, in the models. We have a folder card models. The app settings we can add here. Let's make it a little tidy. Let's say I need this class. And inside this class, I need just to fill name and the issuer. That's it. Nice. Let's call this one here. One. 
done done. So this one, it's came. This one, same in the documentation. Just we need to uh, uh, copy it from the documentation and add it there. Nothing more than that. So we can add it in the again in the models. Let us create something new here. So let's call it Embaco uh, uh, models or Embaco uh, MFA. Models, that's fine. Let's go to class. Just to add this to data here. And let's say this one here. Tick, tick, tick. Come on. Yeah. Let's close it. And implement it here. Done, done. So we have done everything about the Umbraco class, Umbraco user uh, authentication here. We have done everything. So here we finished, let's say, more than 75%. Now what you need to do, just register this, the service. So how we can register it, you have two ways. You can use Umbraco Builder, what we have before here. You can create one more class here uh, and, do, and uh, call it from the composer. Uh, Let's show. Let me show you both ways. So I don't have any preferred way, but uh, depend on what you are using or how you need to use it. So let's create a uh, Umbraco MFA builder here. Come on, nice. So let me copy my code. So the same again from. I will take that one from. Uh, from the, no, this not exists in the documentation because there they are using the compose or the composer there. Here I'm using uh, Umbraco Builder, but same, you know, they are no, no different different between them. Just the way how you call them. So here we create the the, the 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 class to register our services. So in here I call, I said, uh, give me my uh, data from the app settings. After that, uh, register the services and call the HTML to. So we are returning the builder, that's it here. This first way, but how I can register this one in my, in my uh, startup file? I have to go to uh, uh, startup. In the startup, I can go, uh, it's similar to what we have done with the notification exactly. So what I can say here, uh, add Umbraco service and have to pass the iconfig. That's everything. So now if you, Run the project, it should run. Let's run together, it's not should run, but should run. So we should see something now, uh, enabling the authenticator. Here we are in the bag office. So how I can make sure that service is enabled, just I click on the logo here, I will see something called configure to factor authenticator. So when I say enable, I have to scan this code with my application, with my uh, any uh, app uh, can you, uh, can scan this one with Google one or my, uh, Google Authenticator or Microsoft Authenticator, any one of them. I just scan the code. I add my code here, and that's it. Uh, let me try it. I don't want to try it with my this current user. Let's go try it with uh, maybe let's go to users. Do we have any user here? We have one here. He's inactive, but let's change his password. Let's say uh, this one here. Um, and confirm it. I don't want. I don't want. Let's say. Uh, do we save it? Yeah. Log out. So let's add that mail. And log in. Uh, they say it's failed. So here we are in the second user. I don't need to save it again. So if I bag here, I said enable, and I take my mobile, and I can open any authenticator, and you can see that sure. Just let me just try it with you to see. Uh, let me add 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 QR. 
and I got the QR, so I have to add the number I got from my QRs 575492. If I say it save, that mean has been interrupted. So if I say log out and I log in again, log in. So now they will ask me to add the, the verification code here. So it will be 112343. Validate. That's it. So how how simple and, and same same you can cancel it same way. You see how how simple and how nice and within less than fifteen minutes we have enabled one of the best feature let's say here and add more security to our application. So before we finish, let me just show you the second way how to uh, register the service. So as I said, we have we added together here. So if I said I don't want this this one. Because uh, as you see, you can, I'm adding the service here and I'm passing that. So why? Uh, so let me add the other way. I'm gonna say why I'm, I was using that one and why uh, uh, the why I was planning to be honest with you how to use this one or to how to use the, how to add this service. So I'll create again one more service here or one more class. I call it Umbraco Composer. So I'm, I'm doing now what they are doing here. I think it is here somewhere. That that's one here. So if I copy this one. And I said, use this one please here and give me the class for this interface. And I will go to my old one. I copy everything from there. Copy here. I will add it here. So I will not have this one, but I think I can call it builder. Uh, dot uh, maybe config. Yeah, that's nice getting that here so what's the difference between the compose or with the umbraco builder so the compose when you use it here or the composer you don't need to back to the startup and added it here because it will be called straight away from the composers here people they're using this way easier better when they use any when you install any package but why i have used this one so let's suppose we need to stop the, uh, the multi-factor authentication. Just I can add this comment, this one, and that's gone. That's it. I'm not saying you can't cancel it. It could be disaster if you cancel it. But I'm just saying this two ways of code. If you use this one, it's working with you fine. And this one, it's working fine. But just to sh share the knowledge and see the ways how we can, how we can register services with Umbraco. I think that's it uh, for today and for this video. I hope you enjoy it and you see how how easy and nice to implement that uh, that this feature. Uh, if you read the documentation, maybe you'll be distracted a bit too many things there. So, but I think uh, this video will help you and make it easier for you how to how you can uh, implement it. Uh, see you in the next video.